Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. This is going to be an overall uh, prediction for the month of November 2021 for beautiful Aquarius. Um, you guys, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, I am a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess, okay? Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so there's going to be parts of it that may not fit in your story, and it's totally fine. Take what's yours and leave the rest, you guys. And if this message is for you, whoops, be sure to claim it by subscribing and liking the video. All right, guys, let's get right into it. For Aquarius, for November... Four of Cups. All right. Aquarius. I feel like this is something you don't see coming. And look at that. The Fool. A leap of faith. Intuition. This is also a fresh start. It's a clean slate here. Hmm. All right, so what I'm getting here is that this is something, look at that page of cups, bottom of the deck. I'm getting here that for a lot of you guys watching this, this is someone from the past coming back, all right? This is someone that rejected you, or it was like a missed opportunity. And now they want to take a leap of faith. Probably owe you an apology. They want to talk, send you a sweet communication, a message of love here. For some of you guys, um... You walked away from this person. Um, they were in a third party, okay? Um, but I'm getting that they've walked away from that third party. They've ended things over there, if that's what that is. For some of you guys, not all of you guys. And they want to talk. They want to explain things to you. They want to talk. Look at that. There you guys are right after that. Aquarius, the star. I guess I'm right about that, you guys. <laughs> This is a wish come true. This is a miracle and a wish fulfillment coming in for you. But this person wants to bring healing. Uh, it's like this energy where they know they messed up. They know they messed up with you, Aquarius. All right, so what else? Let's see. Sorry, guys, when I get quiet like that, it's because I'm channeling. I kind of put the cards, if, when you see me doing that, it's because I'm putting the cards how I feel the energy here, okay? All right, so... They want to bring healing. Sweet. They know they messed up with you, Aquarius. All right. Um, I feel like this person is so attached to your energy, though. Like, there's something about, you know, Aquarians are typically very um, unique, you know. They are not followers. They are leaders. They kind of march to the beat of their own drum. You guys know this. And they love that about you. And they're really like, wow, like, I can't believe what I passed up. I can't believe that I did that. Or I can't believe I messed up in that way. Hierophant coming in to bless your reading. All right. Along with the star card, your guys' energy. This is healing. All right. This is uh, wanting to bring healing to the situation. For a lot of you guys, yeah, I was going to say, for a lot of you guys, there, you know, after this ending, it's like you guys haven't heard from this person. But you guys both, in since you haven't spoken, have been in this, like, energy of healing and, and, and whatnot, okay? Now, for some of you guys, you may not want this person when they come back. You might give them the Queen of Swords. There you are. But I feel for most of you guys, um, you are going to have your guard up. See, they're going to meet the sword here because you're not going to go down that road, road again with them so easily. For some of you guys, you know, this is a second, third chance with this person. But like, it's like the bone has been picked dry. Like there's nothing else. Like this is it. And they know this almost. Okay. So they know that they're going to come in and more than likely they're going to meet your sword, but you will be welcoming to talk. For a lot of you guys, you've already put this behind you and you won't want this person and they will meet the sword and you're just going to block them out. Because they kept their emotions hidden too. Like they've kept things hidden or things, you know, there's things that they want to reveal to you here, but there's a lot that's been hidden with the moon. It's also the divine feminine.
yeah, because the Queen of Swords is truth too. It's communication, truth. Um, Page of Cups, I feel like maybe they're practicing, talking, having conversations with you when they come back, when they reach out or you know what I mean? They're practicing text and like writing out text messages or DM and then they delete it. Like they're just going over like very carefully what they want to say to you. Four wands. Because they want a reunion here. They want to celebrate. They want a union with you. They want, they see you as like the one. This is marriage, engagement, happiness, celebration. And that's what they're manifesting. The star card is a wish. It's a wish fulfillment, a wish come true, wishing on a star. It's manifesting. Hoping. Hope. A lot of hope here. Judgment. Wanting to communicate, to bring something back. This is resurrection. It's a judgment call as well. But it's communication. Uh, I feel like you could have broke up with this person or left this person behind too. Because, like, they didn't want to be tied down maybe. But also, like, for some of you guys, they were just, like, I'm getting a partier. Like, they like to party. Okay? Um, and it was out of hand. Or it just was something that you didn't want in your energy. Um... That's for some of you. It's not by all, not all of you by any means. And there's the three of cups. So there's the resurrection. This is the communication coming in. It's a, it's the call. They heed the call. They're listening to their intuition. All right. They want this this second chance. They want to bring something back here, and they want this happy reunion. Happy Halloween, by the way, you guys. Happy Samhain. Look at that. They want a reunion. And this for me is, uh, again, that for some of you, there could have been a third party and they want to explain. I'm hearing, hear me out. Just hear me out. Okay. So they want to talk. Look at that. See the lovers after that. And then the five of swords. See, for a lot of you guys, there was deception here. And there are things that have been hidden that they want to speak truths about, but they, they're afraid to shoot themselves in the foot again. Okay. Is what I'm getting. So they're, it's like, they're scared. They want to talk. They also are really like thinking about this communication and what to say. But with the, with the lovers, the star card judgment, uh, and the four of wands here, this for me, for a lot of you guys, it could be a twin flame. All right. Feels very twin flamey, very twin flamey to me. All right. Um, King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So your person could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they have this offer that they've been sitting on, all right? And the King of Pentacles doesn't come out unless they know that they want to invest, like unless they know that they're ready to invest in something, fight for something, to give this pentacle away. They thought a lot about this. They don't, they're not happy. They're not happy with like how things are or how things were left off between you guys, how things were left specifically, Okay. All right, so let's see what else for Aquarius for the month of November for Aquarius. I, I don't know. I, I just, I love, I love saying Aquarius and I love saying it like that. Oh, I wanted to come out for Aquarius indecision. Look at that. <laughs> Someone's been at a crossroads. Indecisive. All right, so in the month of November, for you guys personally, you guys might have some decisions to make. You might be at a crossroads with some things here coming in. All right, and then bottom of the deck is the door to personal healing and happiness. So it looks like you're at a crossroads trying to make a decision here on which way to go. Do you want to go walk through the store? You've walked through the door of personal healing and happiness, and you're continuing to walk through that door. So for a lot of you guys, it might be the decision of, wow, do I want to go down this road with this person again? Do I want to take that chance again? So much time has passed. I've been healing. I've been doing me. So you guys might have that decision to make. But also, for a lot of you guys, I'm specifically getting a job. Getting a job or, or, or switching jobs, okay? It might be the same career but like at a different company but you guys there's decisions all right but also this is this person in the past they did not walk through the door all right they did not walk through the door with you they wanted to keep things all hidden and locked up and secretive 
Tell me about the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Three of Cups, please, for Aquarius. The world. A whole new world. <laughs> this is a new beginning. Crushing lessons. You guys are crushing karmic lessons. Past tests. It's been a lot of uh, healing, a lot of um, rebirth. All right. You guys always come back from the darkness. Like you guys always heal yourselves and come back from the darkness. This is a new cycle here. This is a new cycle, a new beginning in love. The world. I want the world. I want the whole world. What does she say? To lock it up in my pocket and it's my bar of chocolate. Give it to me now. <laughs> uh, what is that? Uh, Veruca salt from the Charlie and Chocolate Factory. There it is, walking away. You might be walking away from this new cycle that comes in, this new beginning. All right? But you guys walking away from this person in the past, as hard as it was, you did. And that was a test that you passed. And now you get a wish fulfillment. Let's get one more, please, for Aquarius. The angel of balance is blessing you. Also, Aquarius, look at this. We have um, the crown chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is like thinking clearly, seeing things clearly. It's also heightened um, spirituality and ascension. I mean, this is you guys tapping into the higher realms. All right. The fifth, sixth, seventh dimensions for some. But this is aligning with your higher self. Your intuition is on point. All right. You're feeling very passionate about life right now. Feeling very magical, very powerful. And the divine is protecting you guiding you, bringing balance. I'm hearing um, tranquility, all right? So a lot of tranquility, like tranquil energy coming into your life in the month of November, all right? And you guys are seeing things clearly in the month of November, all right? So whatever this indecision is about, it doesn't feel like it lasts long because you guys, your third eye, your crown chakra, like your higher uh, chakras are very lit up at this time, all right? Um, okay, so what else? Let's see what else. Let's do some Intuit Oracle. For Aquarius, for November, please. For Aquarius, for November. Cardinal first. Yes. Take inspired action. This is the start of a whole new season. I'm telling you guys, this is for a lot of you guys, this is the start of a whole new season, a whole new world for you. The cycle comes in. Fox, look at this, but be careful because for some of you guys, this person still has their own self-interest at heart. For some of you, they haven't healed. That's this indecision. You guys use extreme discernment, but I feel like you guys already know that. You can feel it, sense it, intuition. Clouds, yeah, see? Hesitation, confusion, thoughts. Unclear, indecision. Another indecision. So there's this whole thing. And then you have the end of the mutable. You have the start of the season. And then end of the mutable. End of the season. So endings and beginnings. There's definitely a resurrection here. A past person trying to come back. But this is also the end of the mutable. This is the end of not hearing from this person or talking. There's communication coming in. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah, they want to clear away the confusion. They want to explain themselves to you. But for some... There's still this kind of energy there lurking. Okay. So just use extreme caution or extreme caution, extreme discernment as always, right? Anytime someone from the past returns to our life, you know, the owl. Ooh. Okay. So this is, again, look at this. This is no, seeing through the facade secrets lifted. See, you guys could see right through this person. Like I'm getting this energy where they couldn't fool you because you are highly intuitive. You can see things. No, you know things, feel things, empathic. But listen to this. It says, 
observant, aware, sees through the facade, secrets lifted. This is clearing the confusion, clearing the clouds, okay? It's like, remember I said, I heard, hear me out, hear me out. They want to talk. They want to explain their actions, their deceit, why they did what they did, okay? I, this person's been keeping an eye on you. They've been spying on you, you know, watching you through social media, whatever it is. Um, I feel like they, they know that you know what's going on with them. Does that make sense? Um, and I feel like that scares them too. Oh yeah, it does scare them. Look at that, the mice. This is stress, worry, anxiety, fatigue, restlessness, loss, fear. Their fear of possibly losing you forever is eating away at them, is what that is. And they're nervous as heck. to reach out. Look at that, the lovers. But they're making a decision here. They want union. It says within four to eight weeks, talkative, social, witty, inquisitive. This is Gemini energy, fellow air sign. It's a choice in love though. We've got the lovers, the four of wands, the star card. This is so twin flamey. You guys know if you watch my channel, I can always 